hey guys what's up welcome to krishna creations another exciting tutorial and in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to model an anchor a boat anchor but i would not say this is a modeling tutorial because more than modeling i'll be importing parts from illustrator which is way more easier than modeling so with that being said let's get started with the tutorial now let's go to illustrator and i do have an image imported already so i'll put a link in the description for this image so that you can use it so let's select the image first and you, you just need to trace the image you can do it either by the pen tool or you can directly trace the image like this uh, i just needed a high fidelity photo of this i'll just with that and it takes a little bit of time to convert the process itself takes a little bit of time once that is done with the image being selected let's expand it and you'll see something like this all points anchor points and just double click on that and you'll be inside this layer and just select this and hit ctrl x to cut it and just come out of the layer and you don't want this thing anymore and we'll just delete that hit ctrl v to paste it back or command v on your mac keyboard and i don't need any fill color in this so i'll just turn it off and but i do need the stroke effect in this so i'll just have to turn it on so yeah i have given the stroke now and all i need to do is just save the file hit ctrl s and i'll save it as anchor and save so a window pops up here saying that which version of file do you really need to save. The version is now illustrated to CS6 but I don't want that version because Maya doesn't accept that version file. So what should I do now? Just click on that and you'll just see a lot of other versions. So which version do you need to choose in this? If I'm not wrong you should just choose Illustrator 8 because that's the only version Maya is going to accept the path from. If I'm not wrong, I'm not sure about this but I guess I'm right in this. I'll just select the Illustrator 8 and hit OK. OK. The file is now saved. Let's get back to uh, Maya. And here, what you need to do is just go to File, Import, and we'll just import the file. Just uh, if you can't import the file, just you're in some other tab. So just File type of import. You just need to select all files, and you'll find you'll find this, and just import that okay you can just see the this is the same path which was in illustrator and the same path has been imported now just select the path and make sure you're in modeling tab and in modeling tab go to surfaces and hit go to bevel plus window and the settings is pretty much same and let's just bevel this up bam you're done see you're done with the modeling but the problem with this is you have a lot of jaggy lines and you don't really want that. So to get rid of that just select the face and go to edit mesh and duplicate it and get it front. Yep that is done. Now let's just select these both and we'll just delete that. We don't want that anymore and let's select these and hit extrude on your keyboard and hit extrude and bam you're done you don't have any multiple lines in between and you're pretty much done but can you just make out that there is a small mistake in the model and i hope you can make out that can you just go back to illustrator and hit ctrl z to get it back can you just see there is a small round here a hole there but a hole here is missing where is that hole well the thing is that i have not imported that path I hope you remember that I deleted the other lines so what would you do now all you need to do is just create a poly cylinder make sure that it's in 90 degree or yeah 90 degree and place the same in between these in the center of these so that you can just make a hole in that okay just get it front and make sure it's in the middle yes just like this First select the anchor and then select the poly cylinder then go to mesh and boolean different. The anchor is ready now and I hope that's it for the tutorial guys. 
I hope you liked this tutorial and I know it was quite time saving tutorial for every one of you instead of sitting and modeling the entire anchor this is one easy stuff to do and that's it for now guys please do subscribe to my channel and likes and comments would be appreciated thank you so much until next tutorial bye